taken place. So essentially, from the medium term perspective, Vantage Point is not suggesting the natural gas contracts are going to go much lower than what they did today. Now, looking at the long term, we can see clearly we have absolutely no sell signal here whatsoever. Now, again, when we're looking at these different things, we want to make sure that we can assess the market from uh, a, 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 you know, a decent time frame, not just focusing on short or long, but something in between, a blended middle. So we have our predicted medium and long-term differences are still in positive territory. Our predicted MACD has not made a crossover yet to the downside. Predicted true strength indicator is is up in the overbought territory, but you know it's it does need to work this off a little bit. But my view is that it's still going to continue higher. We've closed out the day at 487. Our 18-day predicted moving average was not breached today at 476, which tells me we're still looking at further upside potential on the natural gas. Now let's go into the daily report on the natural gas futures contracts and see if we can narrow down. You know, should we buy, be buying this thing or should we be selling it? That's the uh, the key question here. Now looking at the range for tomorrow, we've got 476 and 496. To me, this is a very good buying opportunity as it pulls back towards that 18-day predicted moving average. Once the thing, everything calms down with the the yuan, the the Chinese yuan today, and all that stuff, the equities will calm down and start moving back up tomorrow. Everything still looks good for the natural gas contracts to extend higher. Now, again, what I was saying, it's very important to remember that oil is certainly not uh, a favorite right now in a lot of environmental size and everything else. Natural gas is a very clean fuel. In the medium and longer term, I really only see the natural gas contracts going higher. You know, they may pull back a little bit. Nothing goes straight up and nothing goes straight down. But again, it's, it's likely that the natural gas contracts will appreciate going forward uh, rather than giving back all of these gains. So we've got some resistance in that 520 area. Very, very simple to, to pick up on that. We can see that, uh, you know, we can see by the number of candlesticks sitting at this $5.20 area represents a significant resistance. However, what it also represents is that we have a base support down here and eventually this $5.20 mark is likely to give way. So that's something we definitely want to keep in mind. Now that's our second position for tonight. Now for our third position we're going to go into the currency markets. Now our third trade here, we're looking at the British pound, US dollar again. We've got a fresh crossover on this triple EMA from vantage point. We haven't been able to get a crossover like this on the British pound, US dollar in months, probably back by the looks of it. The last time we, were, we, we did get a signal like that was back on March the 30th. So point of interest here is that we're looking at the likely uh, potential of further upside on this pair and further dollar weakness. Now, looking at our, our key levels of pivot support here, we can see that we've got 146.80, 147.35, and 147.79 with a close of 147.58. So clearly 140.6080 is a point of interest to us because that is the 18-day predicted moving average from vantage point. We've got our predicted medium and long-term differences both in positive territory. That looks good. Our predicted MACD is now above the zero line, as is the predicted true strength indicator. The actual angle in which these things are pointing out, by the way, are of very little interest to me, only where they are in relationship to the zero line and whether they are crossing each other or not. The angle, whether it's pointed up, down, sideways, backwards, I could care less. The main thing is, is again, focusing on when the triggers are being crossed and whether they are above or below that zero line. So just to make sure we're clear on that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into that daily report see if we can pick up on our highs and lows for the day and and get down to a narrow this in entry point down now for the predicted low tomorrow we've got the neural index which is is pointing down which is actually good because it's going to give us a buying opportunity so when the market pulls back we've got a predicted low tomorrow at 146.66 and we've got the 18 day predicted moving average sitting at 146.80 so that's our buy zone right there between 146 85 and 146.66 and then we're going to be looking for a move back up towards the 148.52. That's the way we want to play this. We do not want to chase after the market. Just because the neural index is pointing down, that certainly doesn't mean that we're going to sell this thing. Our triple EMA crossover is crossed to the upside. It's very clearly telling us we only want to buy this. Now what we do from there is narrow down our entry points. 
So those are the market positions for June the 22nd, 2010. And again, my name is Greg Furman, market analyst here at TraderPlanet.com.